Two, three, four, five, seven, ten. Okay, hello, hello, internet world. Pray to God, pray to the gods. All the gods. Thor, Janus, and everybody. Uh, maybe not the tricksters this time. I spent enough time worshipping the tricksters out there. But please don't trick up my fucking computer and camera. Like last time. Okay, I really want this to work. Okay, so... I'm gonna see if I can finish this now, and then see if I can do some Metal Gear, and then do a roam. I'm going all out because my family's out of town. You don't know how many fucking chores and errands I've been running today. I've been doing more work than a goddamn fucking doing normal work day. You know, because I've just been trying to pack, like, two weeks worth of projects into one day. Anyways, let me continue. Where was I? Uh, you can sell the eyes to science, Boromir. Hey, anyone still out there? Aragorn jumps back up and runs to him. Uh, Aragorn, damn man, they fucked you up. Here, I'll give you a hand. He reaches over Boromir and grabs one of the arrows to try and yank it out. Boromir, whoa man, hold up, what are you doing? Aragorn takes his hands back. Boromir, you were about to get this movie an R rating. Oh my god, when I was like 11 or whatever, I saw this movie in the theater. Right when that happened, because... Right when that happens, like, you see, like, Aragorn's hand, like, go for the arrow, right? And I think he, like, grabs it for a second. And I was like, don't! Please, God, don't do it. Because, like, you know, I feel like it's gotten a little bit out of popularity. But back then, like, every fucking movie had to have a surgery scene. Like, it's almost like a sex scene. Like, every movie just seemed like they had to have it. And it was just so hard to watch, especially with my parents. And I'm just like... Like, please don't. Please don't do this. And then they didn't, and I was so happy. I was like, oh my god, this movie's cool. Like, holy shit. You know? But I really thought, because, you know, when I first saw the movie, I never read the books, nothing. I didn't fucking know shit about this shit. I never even heard of it before in my life. And I saw these movies, I don't know what I'm in store for with these movies, you know? I don't know what kind of shit they're going for, you know? Like, uh, it could be some fucked up shit, for all you know, near 11, you know? Anyways, okay, where am I? Um, here, I'll give you a hand. Okay, yeah, yeah, You're gonna give this movie an R rating. Aragorn, pff, what is this, 1961? That doesn't get you an R rating. Yeah, more like PG-13, sometimes even just PG, so. Uh, he sighs. <sighs> anyway, I was just trying to help. Boromir, I know, you're always trying to help. He starts to get all emotional. That's what I like about you. I'm sorry for all the mean stuff I did. I only picked on you because I wish I could be more like you. <laughs> Aragorn, like me, but I'm not funny like you. I'm just sarcastic and stuff like that. I always thought you were on top. Sky high like those popular chicks in teeny bot movies. Boromir, have you ever heard the end of movie speeches by those chicks? They're miserable. Just so much cabin pressure squeezing you all the time. And if you fall, well, for a junior air airline stewardess, 30,000 feet is a long way down. Oh my god, all the airplane references. <laughs> god, I had fun writing this. I, I pray to god I have this much fun writing another story in the future. Aragorn, I guess I never thought about it before. Boromir, I wish I was a smart badass rogue, not giving a shit, not a dumb selfish bitch with self with with crappy self control. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Aragorn, oh don't say that. You're cool, Boromir. I am. Aragorn, yeah, I'm old school, Arthurian legends, real chaste, all that. You're more like a real man. You're raw. You got flaws. People can relate to that. Yep. Boromir, a little smile. Thanks. Quiet moment for effect. Boromir jokes weakly, hey, your mouth is really bloody. You better make sure you're not a multiple gap tooth having bitch now. <laughs> oh my god. Aragorn, haha, <laughs> so should we do the silly rabbit line? Boromir, nah. I think the audience gets the picture without it. Oh my god, were people still saying that all the time from fucking Kill Bill? There's so many Kill Bill references in these parodies, like, it's just, it's just so 2000s, you know, so early 2000s. Uh, the picture without it. Aragorn, relieved sigh. Huh, good. I always hated that line. Yeah, I kind of do too. Boromir, me too. He sighs again. <sighs> anyway, I don't have much time left, so promise me something. Find the funny bunnies. The orcs took them. Aragorn, of course. Boromir, and one last thing. Aragorn, what is it? Or maybe it's like, what is it? I don't know if he's saying it soft or like, what? What is it? Uh, Boromir, um, you know, he doesn't want to say it. Just one last thing. Like, really, really the last. Aragorn, yeah, anything. Then he realizes that Boromir- he realizes what Boromir is talking about. Aragorn, oh. 
He takes off his cloak and looks around to make sure no one's watching. Only the creepy old man statue is there. He turns his back to the statue and then folds up his cloak and puts it over Boromir's face, suffocating him until death. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, I thought he was gonna put it behind his head, like in, um, like in the end of, uh, spoiler alert, in the end of, uh, Easy Rider. How, uh,. The one guy puts his, like, jacket behind the other guy's head. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect him to put it over his face. Oh, <laughs> uh, Aragorn. Killed by the hand of someone who loved him enough to understand. Oh my god. If you get that reference. Um, he puts his cloak back on. He's just gonna kill somebody with it and then put it right back on. I feel like that's, like, psychologically, like, weird, but okay, yeah, fine. Aragorn. I was lying when I said I'd never go to the White City, even in a zombie apocalypse. Did he say that? Uh, know how I know? He whispers. I read ahead in the script. We all go there. <laughs> he hugs Boromir and flops down crying. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Meanwhile, all the remaining orcs, the surprise attack, are watching from the bushes, hunting Frodo and Sam. Uh, orc. What, what the hell is this? But they didn't see all this previous stuff that you just read. All they see is Aragorn with his face on Bor Boromir's neck. And then when he sits up, he wipes the blood off his mouth. <laughs> Orc. Holy shit, vampires. <laughs> Orc number two. I thought that was just a rumor. Orc number three. A daywalker vampire at that. Orc number four. Ah, oh, the daywalking undead, our only weakness. Actually, everything's our weakness, but whatever. Retreat. They run away and vacate the area, and the parody, for now. Cut to Frodo standing on the riverbank, reminiscing about Gandalf. Voice over flashback. Frodo. I wish none of this had ever happened. I wish I was never born. Gandalf. Yeah, that's what everyone says when shit hits the fan. But not everyone is destined for a fairy tale ending. Some are just born to suffer, and as a rabbit, you're the natural bottom of the food chain. But just think, because of your sacrifice, baby kittens and foxes grow up big and strong. The cycle of life goes on. Is that what he said earlier? I don't remember if he said that or not. And flashback. <laughs> just that shit. That's it. Just your food. Yeah, that's it. Frodo is shipping out on a little canoe. Then, of course, Sam comes running to the shore to get him. Oh my god, in that playlist they had, like, this ending part is that song Soul Meets Body by uh, Death Cab for Cutie. It goes so well. Oh my god, it goes so well. Especially when Sam is, like, going after him, and it's like, the lyrics go like, um, if the darkness takes you, I hope it takes me too, something like that. I'm like, oh my god, yes, bitch. This song matches so fucking well. I was so happy. Um, where am I? Okay, then of course Sam comes running to the shore to get him. Sam, Frodo, what are you doing? Frodo, I gotta do my thing alone. Sam, but you'll die out there alone. Frodo, oh well, if I die, I die. Is that fucking from Rocky? Sam, frustrated growl. <sighs> he puts his hand on his hands on his hips for a minute, thinking. Then he just wades straight into the river like he's gonna walk into the boat. Oh, like he's gonna walk to the boat, it says. Uh, Frodo, Sam, what the hell? Watch out for broken glass. Oh my god, bitch, of course I had to get that line in there. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for those plastic things that hold a six pack of soda together. <laughs> oh my god. A lot of people litter in this river. And besides, you can't swim. Sam. Oh well, if I die, I die. <laughs> Way to throw it back at him. Frodo grumbles in irritation. Ugh. Well, that boomerang didn't get too far, huh? He reluctantly paddles the boat back over. Fine, you win. I'm coming to save you. Sam hits some deep water and sinks under it. He starts thrashing around like a maniac, trying not to drown. Frodo, yeah, yeah, I'm coming. He reaches down in the water and grabs Sam's hands to pull him out. But as soon as he does, Sam snaps a handcuff on his wrist. <laughs> Next scene, they're drifting quietly down the river, sitting side by side, handcuffed together. Frodo, why? Why couldn't you just let me go? We're just rabbits. We're food. Sam, well, even food should get to enjoy life a little, right? It's like a murder mystery or an episode of Mission Impossible. You know how it's gonna end. Abruptly. But... <laughs> What's important is the adventure. Oh, that's really deep. Frodo, but Mary and Perry said that friends respect your decisions. Sam, yeah, but we're not friends. Frodo, question mark, question mark. Sam, we're best friends. Oh. They float off towards the sunset together, handcuffed. <laughs> Sam and Frodo, singing quietly. 
Big wheel keep on turning. Fred Mary keep on burning. <laughs> Come back to the riverbank again. This time it's Boromir on the other boat, being sent away on a mini Viking funeral. Uh, Aragorn tucks a, tucks a bottle of cough syrup into the boat. Party on in Valhalla, babe. Oh, that's so sweet. How many times have I said, oh? Uh, he kicks the boat to the river and watches it float away while also, while also sipping a cough syrup. Boromir float. I like the idea that, like, a little bit of uh, his, like, debauchery is, like, worn off on Aragorn. Because I, I think at the end, Aragorn takes his uh, wrist guards or something like that. He takes some shit from him. So it's like, this time he takes some of his, like, bad habits. Uh, Boromir floats out a little ways beside the boat. Suddenly the water starts to bubble slightly and boil. Well, boil, toil, and trouble. Some steam rises from it. Then suddenly a giant snake dragon demon forms out of the water and washes over the canoe, sinking the boat and dragging it down into the depths. Oh my god. Boromir voiceover. Oh, Jesus, it's so hot. <clears throat> Why is it so hot? He opens his eyes, finding himself in a strange dark elevator, descending. <laughs> Boromir fans himself, sweating. Where am I? This doesn't look like Valhalla. Yeah, Valhalla should be cold. Suddenly, how many times have I used that word? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I continue to use it to this day. He gets a realization. He frantically put, pulls off his gloves and looks at his hands, finding an upside-down pentagram on either palm. Oh my god, I forgot about that whole wolf thing. Boromir, fuck! It's like fuck all caps with like five U's. Elevator, <laughs> elevator attendant. Going down, sir. <laughs> I thought he started, like, laughing maniacally as, like, flames leaped up in his eyes, but I guess not. Back to the riverbank. Legolas. Well, come on, you guys, let's go. If we take off now, we can catch up to Frodo and Sam. Aragorn shakes his head. We're not going that way. We're splitting off, making our own story like one of them spin-offs. Gimli. Oh, great, so True Blood style. Is that what happened in True Blood? I never watched that shit. My parents talked about it all the time. No one likes that. People like unity and focus. Our fellowship failed. Aragorn. We didn't fail. It's just the end of the movie. Uh, Legolas, hmm? Aragorn. The movie's called The Fellowship. It's over. The next movie's not about that. <laughs> Legolas and Gimli glance at each other. Aragorn. Anyway, let's go. Last one to the next movie has to earn hitchhiker money. Ha ha ha. He takes off running. Legolas laughs, squeal. Ah you cheap bastard. He chases off after Aragorn. Gimli watches them go, shrugs, sarcastically. Oh no, don't make me get hitchhiking money to himself. Like, that's gonna happen. Uh, back to Frodo and Sam, looking off into the distance at Mordor. Sam, huh, it looks closer from here. Frodo, not that close. Huh. So it's just us now, huh? I guess we ain't gonna see our friends anymore. Sam, oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that at all. They continue off, and now, the end! for now. I did a little bit of- that's the end. Uh, and then look at how many blank pages- I'm definitely keeping this notebook. I- oh whoa, look, there's pictures in the back. Holy sh- oh my god, there's General Gage and JW and Missy in that scene I was talking about. Holy shit, dude. I didn't even know that was in there. Look at Missy's like legs, like going on the ground, like- <laughs> um. Interesting. Wow. I'm gonna keep this notebook. I, this is- oh shit! Look, look! This is the elevator attendant! Holy shit, look! Oh, Going up, sir. Uh, what else is in here? Jesus Christ. Uh, some lady's face. I don't really know who that is. She kinda looks like me a little bit. A little bit, I don't know. Um... Let me see. Anything else in here? Any other surprises? Um, I think that's it. Anyway, I did a little bit of the two towers, so I'll dig out the two towers. I didn't finish it, but it's there somewhere. And let's just pray, pray, pray this one doesn't corrupt. Alright, let's see.